great Fergus power. Um, Fergus, I got the news today off your wife that uh, you were after being arrested. Can you fill everyone in here? Because I put a post up to say that we were coming into the CCJ to, uh, anyway, offer you support anyway. But uh, fill us in. It sounds like another disgraceful episode from our so-called guardians of the peace, Garda Siakana here in Ireland. The guardians of the government. Um, yeah, more political police and Phil. I was targeted again. I was uh, constitutionally using my rights to peacefully protest outside the Yoga Cafe in Sally Noggin. When an agitator came up, he kept coming into my space, being very aggressive. I have it all on camera, I'm going to release it there later on. <clears throat> there was four or five police there. Sergeant Kevin Rooney from Shankill Garda Station is the one that arrested me. Um, he was actually, I have him on video, he profiled me last year in September before I was unlawfully and very aggressively attacked with all the police in Ballybrack Village. So, uh, funny, they never, um, and actually he was winking at you, man. I have it all, the guys got on camera earlier on. The guard was winking at the agitator, which I found very strange. It was like it was all a setup. So it sounds like the usual, an orchestrated event between political activists on one side and the Gardaí working together. Um, that's absolutely absolutely serious um, neglect of their oath. It's a serious neglect of the constitution, Fair. Uh, we've been used to this. All the times that we've been out, maybe at protests, or even on the street, and people have walked up and been threatened and abusive to us and never one of them ever gets arrested. No, never. Same as your man there today. Just let walk off. He actually went into the... Uh, he was very uh, jovial saying that he was going into the cafe for the coffee after he seen me getting arrested. So, um, yeah, it was all set up in my eyes, Phil, without a doubt. And thank you very much for coming out for me. Uh, not a bother and um, it's like um, we have to keep highlighting this that's the reason I'm here as well we have to keep highlighting this and just show the people um, these are real events that are happening this is this is not the, the guard that she Shia that I knew growing up or you know we knew growing up that uh, you know sometimes they gave you a kick in the arse when you needed it and everything else and nobody really had a problem with that but this has really gone out of hand. I mean, it's completely uh, political. It's poli they were ready there waiting for you to, to, to do anything at all. Walk on a crack in the footpath even. You know? Yeah, yeah. Political police, and again, targeted, harassed the usual since last year. Um, I don't know what the end of the law is going to be, but um, I have a case against those Gardaí, including Fergal Harrington, superintendent, that instigated that attack on me last year with ESOC. So I was not to be solicitor there when I was locked up in Dunleary. And she's not happy at all. She's not happy whatsoever. And I think the most important part of this, Ferg, as well, is we just can't let these guardy intimidate us. Like, we just can't stand back. And, like, like, you know, this is about your freedom, your basic fundamental freedoms. And if we give in to this nonsense and don't expose it, they'll only get worse and worse. Yeah, so even when your man, uh, that Rioni fella, Kevin Rioni, Sergeant Kevin Rioni, Shankill Garda Station, he was putting the handcuffs on me and he had he, my hands up behind my back as far as, as far as they could go. And he put the... the Cuffs on as tight as they could and real smarmy. Are they okay? Are they comfortable for you and all? They're just, they're a lot on themselves and uh, they all have to be taking the task and they will be. Okay, just uh, Ferg, thanks for that. Fair play to you. And you're out and he's, uh, Ferg is out and he's back a free man again. But as I said, um, these so called Gardaí uh, acting on behalf of uh, political instructions, really, um, they have to be tackled on this. They have to be held to account. And um, if we let this go, um, it will get worse and worse. Um, and it's just trying to show the Irish people. Fergus running for election. He's, he's putting himself out there to be a public representative. And this is the way he's treated because these uh, uh, political uh, people in power now and the, uh, the Gardaí don't like what he has to say or his opinions. Um, this is not a free society, folks, and it can't be let stand. So, again, thanks for everyone for uh, tuning in and sharing this. And just let everyone know that uh, Fergus, we're going to get Fergus dropped home now. Um, and he'll uh, get on with the rest of his life here for, for a while. And, um, yeah, we all just need to stand up against this, folks. And thanks, everyone, for listening.